Hi all, this is Ashwin from Sindhu Reza Sage and Justice Ernagulam studying in Sindh Standard. Today, I am here to present my textbook and notebook of the unit, Rhythms of Life. First of all, let me tell you all about the unit. The first chapter is To My Mother. To My Mother is written by Christina Rossetti. This chapter tells us the message that love can give happiness to both the giver and recipient. The next chapter is Somebody's Mother. It's written by Mary O'Brien. Love and kindness became universal when they are given to people not related to us, even to strangers. The third chapter is The Wooden Cup by Domenico Vittorini. This story is about the strong love between a little boy and his grandfather. The last chapter is A Village Puram by Anita Nair. It reminds us that communal harmony and social life help us appreciate cultural diversity. I think you all got a little awareness about the unit. Now, let's go through my textbook and notebook. Let's go through my textbook. To my mother. In this page, I have highlighted present tense, past tense and continuous tense. The green color indicates present tense, red color indicates past tense and the yellow color indicates continuous tense. Textual questions and answers. The poem, Somebody's Mother. Answer the following questions. Textual activities. The wooden cup. Some questions and answers. A village Puram. Some questions and activities. Activity 1. Activity 2, Activity 3 and Activity 4. Activity 5 and Activity 6. Activity 7 and Activity 8. Activity 9, Activity 10 and Activity 11. Activity 12 and Activity 13. Let's go through my notebook. Unit 4. Rhythms of Life Picture Description Some Questions from the Image Chapter 1 To My Mother Biography of Christina Rossetti Presidents Past Tense and Continuous Tense Page Number 111 Textual Questions and Answers Complete the Word Web Textual Activities Activity 1 and Activity 2 Chapter 2 Somebody's Mother Eliciting the Answers Biography of Mary Dowbrine Finding Out from the Image Past tense, present tense and continuous tense. Page number 113 and page number 140. Answer the following questions. Textile activities. Activity 1. Activity 2 and activity 3. Activity 4 and activity 5. Additional questions. Eliciting the answers. Additional Worksheet Stage 1 Stage 2 and Stage 3 Stage 4 Stage 5, Stage 6 and Stage 7 Stage 8 and Stage 9 Chapter 3 The Wooden Cup Answer the questions. Biography of Domenico Victorini. Extra questions. Present tense, past tense and continuous tense. Page number 117 and 118. Textual questions and answers. Textual activities. Activity 1, Activity 2, Activity 3 and Activity 4. Activity 5 and Activity 6 Activity 7 Activity 8 Activity 9 Activity 10 Activity 11 
Chapter 4 A Village Puram Biography of Anita Nair Different Types of Puram Trishur Puram Presidents, Past Tense and Continuous Tense Texted Questions and Answers Textual Activities Activity 1 Extra activity. Collect pictures on festivals and write a short description of each pictures. Onam, Christmas. Vishu and Easter. Diwali, Mahanavami. Mahashivaratri, Pongal. Holi, Bakrid. Activity 2. Activity 3. Activity 4 and Activity 5 Activity 6 Activity 7 Activity 8 Activity 9 and Activity 10 Activity 11 Activity 12 and Activity 13 Spider Diagram Grotesque Masks Hi everyone, I'm Neha Nubi from Standard 7th D. So today I'm here to present my English textbook and notebook, Chapter 4, Rhythms of Life. Let's have a look. So here we are in the first page of this unit. In this unit, we can see the first lesson is a poem written by Christina Rossetti to my mother. In this page, we can see a greeting card created for birthday and another greeting card created for teacher's day. Now, we are moving to the next lesson of this unit, Somebody's Mother. It's a beautiful poem written by Mary Dobry. And see a few question answers and a few activities given based on this lesson. Here we can see a few more question answers and activities which is given based on this chapter, Somebody's Mother. And now we are entering to the new chapter, A Wooden Cup. In the side of this page, we can see some question answers are given. Here we are in the second and the third page of this lesson. Here we can see some more question answers and activities. Some more activities are given below based on the chapter wooden cup. And this is the last page of that chapter wooden cup. So now we are entering to a new lesson of this unit written by Anita Nair, a village Puram. Now here we can see a few more question answers on the side of this lesson and few more activities which is based on the lesson a village Puram. Here we can see a few words related to a group and now a new words with their meaning. Here, some more activities are given based on this chapter. Here we can see a short poems. Says, what the fog and the eagle and the seas do. Words suggest following passage. Singular and plural words. Passage, rewrite the passage. Universal and general truth. Passage. We are entering to the grammar portion of this lesson. A words of frequency. Past habit and happened in the past. Regular proverbs, irregular verbs, and a poem. So here we can see a few more activities, and here we can see actions that are continuing actions that happen regularly. Pages we can see a diary and of a girl describing the experience she had, and here is the utterances used by function, and here the uh, activities which is required by that. So now we are on the first page of my notebook. Here you can see present tense, past tense, and continuous tense. So here there are some question answers based on the lesson to my mother. So here we can see a greeting card based on Happy Teacher's Day. And now we are moving on to the next lesson, Somebody's Mother. The question answers of Somebody's Mother continue here also. So here are the question answers and the activities of the Somebody's Mother. The activities continue here also. So here we are moving on to the third chapter of this unit, the Wooden Cup. The activities of the Wooden Cup follows here. Here. And more. In these pages, you can see the questions based on the chapter, The Wooden Cup. And retelling the story. Here, I have written the story in my own words. So here, I have written my own story, The Christmas. It's all about a happy home. And now, we are moving to the next and the last chapter of this unit, A Village Purim. The question answers continue here. The activities are started here. The other activities of this chapter follows here. Here, here. 
So here there are some more textual activities from the lesson. A village poem. It goes till here. So here I have written a poem in the form of a story. One strange day. Here comes the conversation part. Here comes a passage and we have to identify the actions going on at the present time. The activities continue here too. Some other activities follow here too. Here. This is called a character web. It is based on the chapter Rhythms of Life. Here we can see the fourth chapter of this unit. To my mother, somebody's mother, the wooden cup and a village poem and its characters. Here we conclude the chapter. Here I have written active words and its moments. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Adira R from Sensi. Today I am standing here to present my textbook and notebook of the unit 4, The Rhythms of Life. So let us go through it. Rhythms of Life to my mother. Unit 4 Rhythms of Life in Notebook I hope all of you enjoyed my video. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Dani Maria. I am studying in 7. Today, I would like to present my English text stand note based on Unit 4, Rhythm of Love. Myself, Andrea Dice of Standard 7th B. Today I am going to present textbook and notebook of the lesson Rhythms of Life. Unit 4 Rhythms of Life Biography of Christina Rossetti. Biography Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Coleridge Quotes. Poems about Mother. Collect pictures of modern life. To my mother, Christina Rossetti. Concept map on Mother. Poem Somebody's Mother. Biography of Mary Dobrine. Answer the following questions. New words. Rhyming words. Couplet. Acrostic poem on mother. Memorable experience about grandparents. The wooden cup by Domenico Vittroni. Biography of Domenico Vittroni. Presidents, past tense and continuous tense. New words. Retell the story. Story the wooden cup. A happy home. Village Purim by Anida Nair. Short note on Purim. Different types of Purim. Biography of Anida Nair. Presidents, past tense and continuous tense. New words. Answer the following questions. Textbook activities. Collect pictures on festivals. Onam. Christmas, Vishu, Eid al Fitr, Deepavali, Bakrid, Textbook Activities, Additional Activities, Spider the Bond Rhythms of Life, Textbook. Textbook activities. Thank you. Hi friends, 
Myself, J.S. Vithya from Standard 7. I am here to show my textbook and artwork. I'm Celine Miranda from 7D. Today, I'm here to present my text and not based on the Unit 3, The Rhythm of Life. This unit contains two different poems and two different stories. The poem, To My Mother by Christina Rossetti. The poem, Somebody's Mother by Mary Lou Brown. The story, The Wooden Cup by Domenico Vittorini. The story, A Village Ulam by Anita Nayan. So, let's go through my text and not. Unit 4, Rhythm of Life. The poem to my mother, I have marked present tense and continuous tense and past tense. Activities from the poem to my mother, somebody's mother. Answer the following questions and the other activities. Other activities based on the somebody's mother poem. The wooden cup. Question answers based on the wooden cup. Activities. A Village Puram by Anita Nair. Questions based on the chapter. The other activities based on the chapter A Village Puram. I did all the activities. Notebook Unit 4 Rhythms of Life. Pa Presidents and past tense from this poem to my mother. Question answers. Biography. 
on Christina Rossetti. Activity 1 Somebody's mother about we should love our parents. Present tense and past tense from the poem. Short biography on Mary Dobrine. Question answers. Activity 2 The Wooden Cup by Domenico Vittorini. Present tense and past tense marked from the Wooden Cup. Question answers. Activity A story. Activity 1 is to write different questions and then their answers. A greeting card for grandparents. These are the other activities based on the chapter The Wooden Cup. A village poem, Anita Naya's biography. Present tense, past tense found from the chapter. Question answers based on the village poem. Activity. This is a short paragraph on festivals. These are the other activities based on the story A Village Poem. I hope you all like watching my text and all. Thank you. Hi, oh, my name is Anika Kesanish. I'm studying in 7th standard. I'm a student of St. Teresa CJHS and Nagula. Today, I'm going to show you my English test book and notebook based on the unit Rhythms of Life. So, let's see it. Here, I mark the present tense, past tense, continuous tense, and here are some questions that we need to answer. Activity 1 is to attempt a few sentences about mother. And activity 2 is to how do you prepare a thank you card, making use following these hints. And next, I did the teacher's day thank you card for teachers. Somebody's mother, here I marked the past tense, present tense, continuous tense. Here, we need to answer the following questions. Next, we need to identify from the poem the lines or expressions that suggest the following. Here, we need to write, we need to find out the rhyming pairs from the poem and we need to make a poem by using these rhyming words and the next is we need to write an acrostic poem based on mother. The wooden cup. Here I mark the present tense, past tense, continuous tense and here are some questions that we need to answer. Here are some questions to answer and next is to describe a happy occasion when your family and relatives go together. And the next activity is to make a grandparents day card for your grandparents. Here we need to answer the questions based on the reading of the story The Wooden Cup. Here we need to write the major events of the story The Wooden Cup and we need to write the story in our own words. Here we need to write a paragraph what are the things that make a house a happy place to live in and some hints are given for to write a happy home. And the next activity is to conduct a survey on the problems and illness of the aged people. Village Burham. Here I mark the present tense, past tense, continuous tense and there are some questions that we need to answer. In this activity, we need to write the visual and auditory. The first activity is to write the expressions and the words that refer to a group. In this page, we need to fill the blanks using appropriate words from those given, given in the box. And the next activity is to find out the meaning of the following words from the dictionary and to fill in the boxes. Here, we need to write what are some of the everyday actions that you do and we need to list them. Next activity is to fill in the blanks using the appropriate words from the box. Here, we need to say what the fork and the eagle and the sea do. Here, we need to read the passage again and not how the verbs change when the subject is singular or plural we need to find the we need to find and write the findings and the next is to write the passage one using the plural form in place of neighbor and they in place of he next we need to study the sentences given in passage one again and say whether they express habits or general universal truth and here is passage two here is a lady who talks about some of her habits 
Here we need to write the verbs in the simple present and the next activity is to rewrite the passage what he did yesterday and the next activity is to write past habit and happen in the past. In this page we need to write the regular verbs and irregular verbs and next activity is to fill in the blanks using the correct form of the words given in the brackets. Here we need to write what were your activities yesterday and we need to make a detailed diary entry. Next activity is to complete the conversation using the correct forms of the verbs given below. And the next activity is what idea do we get about the action make? Is the action complete or going on? And we need to write its findings. Here we need to write the actions that are continuing and actions that happen regularly. And the next we need to think of a place where, we, where you would like to be and close our eyes and imagine this place in a great detail. Here is a diary entry of a girl describing the experience she had during her stay in Mumbai and there are some errors in it. We need to edit them. The next activity is to write function and occurrences. Here are a few situations and how can you ask for information using the expressions in the pose. Rhythms of life, some extra questions. To my mother's author biography, Christina Rossetti and more about Christina Rossetti. Presidents, past tense, continuous tense. Biography of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Some quotes of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Extra questions. The activities from test. Somebody's mother's author biography. Mary Dobrin. Answer the following questions. An extra activity spider web. An extra activity we need to find out the active words and mov movements and the wooden cups author's biography Domenico Vittoni. An extra activity here we need to ask our grandparents some questions. A village poems orders biography and it nayar. I hope you enjoyed my English textbook and notebook. Thank you and have a nice day. Hi friends, let me introduce myself. Myself Angel Rose from 7C. We have learned our new unit, the Rhythms of Life. We have learned many things and we got much knowledge from that chapter. So now I am going to deliver my textbook and notebook. So let's go through that. Unit 4, Rhythms of Life. To my mother, a poem by Christina Rossetti. Present tense marked in green color, continuous tense marked in yellow color. Question and answers. Activities. Somebody's mother. Poem by Mary Do Bryan. Past tense in red color, continuous tense in yellow color, present tense in green color. Question and answers. Activity. Acrostic poem. Rhymes. Couplet. My acrostic poem. The Wooden Cup. A story done by Domenico Vitrini. Question and answers. Question and answers. Activities. 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 A village Puram. Story done by Anida Nair. Present in Sin. Green color, continuous tense in yellow color, and past tense in red color. Question and answers. Question and answers. Activities. Activities.
Rhythms of Life, Unit 4. To my mother. Presidents, past tense, continuous tense. Question and answers. Birthday card to my mom. Teacher's Day card. Somebody's mother. Presidents, past tense, continuous tense. Questions based on somebody's mother. Rhyming words. Rhyming words from poem. Couplet. A couplet is a pair of lines in poetry that rhyme with each other. Acrostic poem. An acrostic poem is one which the initial letter of each line spell out a word or a phrase. My acrostic poem. The wooden cup. Presidents, past tense. Question and answers based on wooden cup. Continuous tense. Grandparents day card. Activities. A happy house. A village puram. Presidents past tense. Continuous tense. Questions based on a village puram. Activities. Visual auditory. Activity 2. Expressions or words that refer to a group. These words represent different kinds of sounds. Creek. Russell, jingle, splash, click, rattle, squawk, bang, whistle, crash, drip, screech, lick. These words represent different kinds of sound. Creak, rustle, jingle, splash, click, rattle, squeak, bang, whistle, crash, drip, screech, tick. Activity 4. Activity 5. Fill in the blanks. Activity 6. They suggest the general nature or habits of things or peoples in their movements. The words are all in the simple present form. Activity 7. We use vague, base root form when the subject is plural and vague, S form when the subject is singular. Activities Past habit Happened in the past Regular verbs Irregular verbs Activity Fill in the blanks Activity Additional worksheet Picture description Question and answers. My poem to my mother. My shining star. Active words, moments. Mother. Spider verb. Biography of Christina Rossetti. Biography of Mary Dobrin. Biography of Domenico Vitroni. Thank you for spending a small time for me. Thanks a lot. Hi everyone. I am Jennifer Ritterius. Today, I am here to present my English textbook and notebook. So, let us see my textbook and notebook. Today, I present my English textbook and notebook. Let's watch it. 
This is my first page of our unit, Rhythms of Life, and I have marked the present tense, past tense, and continuous tense. And these are some textual activities. This is the first page of my notebook. This is our extra activities. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, I am Christina Joseph from 7E and today I am here to show you my textbook and notebook. Next one. Test book Chapter 1 to my mother Test book activities and chapter 2 somebody's mother Test book activity Chapter 3 the wooden cup Test book activities Chapter 4 a village forum Questions and activities Many grammars Notebook Rhythm of life to my mother Question and answer activities Somebody's mother, question and answers, activities. The wooden cup, question and answers, and activities. A village forum, question and answers, and activities. Grammars. Story writing, rewriting stories, etc. Additional activities of this unit, Rhythm of Life. End of the activities. Hope you all enjoy my presentation and my video. Have a nice day. Hi friends, I am Joshna Joj. Today I am here with my English text and note of unit 4. In this unit, there are fantastic poems, stories, etc. Our dearest teacher, Sister Miranjana, has given us many activities. So, now let's see those activities through my English text and notebook. Unit for Rhythms of Life. To my mother, I mark past tense, present tense, and continuous tense. Activities. Somebody's mother, I mark past tense, present tense, and continuous tense. Answer the following questions. Activities. The wooden cup, I mark past tense, present tense, and continuous tense. Activities A village podium I mark past tense, present tense and continuous tense 
activities. Unit for Rhythms of Life to my mother, past tense, present tense and continuous tense, biography of Christina Rossetti. These are my textual question answers. Activities and extra activities. Somebody's mother, I am a past tense, present tense and continuous tense. And answer the following questions. These are the activities and extra activities. The wooden cup, past tense, present tense and continuous tense. Biography. These are the textual question answers. Activities and extra activities. A list for past tense, present tense, and continuous tense. These are the textual question answers and activities. Thanks for watching.